It was, it was a great game, and you know, some people were just caught up on emotion. And plus, that's a rival game too. But you know, you know, you got to be mature about it. Let it go. Hey, games like games like that happen, but you got to move on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ACC Defensive Player of the Week this year. You've probably been the Seminoles' most consistent pass rusher this year. What's been different for you this year? Just, you know, me maturing, less distractions off the field, my, you know, my film study, my preparation, you know. Like, I put over 15 hours of film watching on Miami. And then, you know, Coach Lon, man, you know, every, like, me and him communicated so well during the game. Like, hey, Coach, he's, he set me like this. What's good to beat him like this? Hey, Coach, he doing this, what a good. And then he just, he was telling me, and then, you know, I applauded, you know what I'm saying? It, you mentioned the film study. At what point was that something this year that clicked in that, you know, the more time I spend in here, Jimbo's kind of said it, you see those kids who are prepared for their test, they have that look in their eye, those kids who kind of cramped at the last second kind of have that panic yeah. look. Yeah. Did, did it kind of stick, get into you at some point and realize, you know, that, hey, this is what I do, and hey, when I do this, it, I, I play better? Yeah, um, it's just, it was kind of like a maturing thing. Like, if you look, at my sophomore year, I prepared for the Florida game very good. I watched so much film, and that's the game that I had the most success in. And then me growing up, you know, watching J.J. Watt and hearing certain things about him, you know, and watching, you know, the the hard knocks thing and all that stuff and just how much time he put into it. You know, he's the, he's the like, number one player in the country. I mean, or well, in the NFL. So, you know, yeah, so, like, I just adapted the same thing, you know what I'm saying? When the reasons for success change, then, you know, I'll change. But, you know, if, if I see him do it, I do the same thing. As far as, what was I going to say? Crap, I lost my question. Go for it. Oh, just, man, how satisfying has this year been? Because, you know, I think this, especially those first couple of years, it wasn't always fun and easy for you, was it? And, and this year, I mean, I don't know if it's easy, but you're, you're making it look easy. Man, it's not easy. <laughs> I had one, one heck of an all season. Like I got videos of you guys, my mom, man, drenched in sweat. You know what I'm saying? But it just came on. You know, like I have a great coach. You know what I'm saying? His resume speaks for himself. Great coach, and I just learned how to buy in to the system and stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? Never, be, never be satisfied. You know what I'm saying? You know, trust me. I had a lot of people telling me good game, all that stuff, but hey. I told him I still got to improve every every week like I can. What kind of stuff were you doing in the offseason? Oh, man. I went back home. Uh, I trained at set performance. I trained at Godspeed. Uh, James Coleman is an alumni here. He played. And, you know, I train like sometimes five. I, I train five days a week, sometimes six. And sometimes I train two to three times a day. You know what I'm saying? I always train smart. I treated my body right. I ate right. You know, my, my family made sure that, you know, I was eating right. I just, I dedicated all my time into it. And also, I, you know, I did pretty well in summer school. So I just, I made a lot of sacrifices and uh, I just bought in. What do you think led to that? I think, you know, a lot of guys don't reach that point on their own and, and you did. What, what do you think made that come about? I just want to be the greatest. Um, you know, just watching, I watched so much film on JJ Watt. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I could tell you. His, his best pass rush move. I can tell you how he, how he, you know, takes on double teams. I can tell you how, like, you know, tackle blocking out. He he's from the swim and just get flat down the line. I can tell you everything. And just watching him, you know, why not just do the same thing? You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's paying out for me. Jimbo said a lot of times you ask him about players, what makes them so good. Guys like Jameis or Dalvin or Jalen, just how much they love football. He said that you about you to the, you today. How much do you just kind of enjoy the game, enjoy practice, and, and enjoy the whole grind of it? Yeah, man. Ball, ball is life. <laughs> ball is life. You know what I'm saying? You know, after the off season, you just sit right here in your house so bored, like you don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So you got to enjoy it. It's a lifestyle. And it's something that, you know, I love I love winning. I want, I want to win another, another national championship. But, you know, you got to take it one game at a time. You got to enjoy it. Want each practice at a time because I like you know we can never get time back. That's something God never gives us. So you got to take it, take take advantage of it when you get to. You know I don't want to, but I have to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What point, if there was a point, did you realize maybe it was in practice or early in the game where you realized that all the work that you had put in and all the effort, you're like, hey, this, this is. Listen, I can off. tell you, I can tell you that 
I knew I was going to have a good game after that Wednesday practice. It's just the, the preparation I put into it. Then that's what I do every week. And you know, like Wednesday practice, like earlier in the season or last week or last week, okay. like you know, because that's our work day. I could just tell uh, I, I was I, I was prepared. I had the eye. I think Thursday night, I stay up at 12 o'clock in the morning watching film, calling Burke, like, hey, I need this type of folder. Waking up at 7 a.m., start by watching more film and all that stuff. You know, I, I was ready for the test, and I could just tell, I, I had the lick in my eye when I came off that bus. I, I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, the, turning the page to, to, to Louisville, what, what do you see from their offense? I know they got a, a lot of young players, but some, some really talented guys. Wow. They have a great offense. Real good coach, uh, great quarterback. Like I was telling those guys over, there, my quarterback is very good. They they have a real good line, you know. They have real, they're real good with their hands, real good with their feet. Great back, you know. You have real good speed, um, and real good offense. You know what I'm saying? You can't really tell, you know, what's coming on. So it's gonna be a real good game. What do you remember from from last year's game? I mean, that was that was a wild one, going down so big early and, and storming mm -hmm. all the way back. Um, it was it was a real good game, you know what I'm saying? You know, they they put up a fight with us and you know, they kinda mixed the match it or they had a real good a real strong run game and they had a real good pocket passer and great wide receivers. And uh Dalvin Cook, having that guy on this team, I think we've kind of run out of ways to, to talk about him. how would you describe him? How would I describe him? I just said I I'm i I'm lucky and blessed that He's on my team. <laughs> that was good, man. That's on, that's that's one great person. Like, yes, yeah, I'm just lucky he's on my team. You know, I don't have to chase him up and down the field. <laughs> on practice, I do it, but <laughs> a little yeah, a little different. You know, what I'm saying? like on the field, I mean, he's tremendous. I know I have a couple more for you. That's okay. Uh, to go back to Coach Long. Do you feel like like you clicked with him in the spring or in the fall, or do you think that he had a, a, a big role in your development to this point? Or? Huge role, <laughs> huge role, huge role. But it, it, it's not something that all right, I'm gonna click with him. He gonna make you click with him. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gonna make you. What is it about him? You know, is, it, is there a technique thing, a motivation thing? What what happened there? It's just the basics, you know, stuff that he been teaching at South Carolina, saying stuff he, he teach at Florida, he teach here. You know what I'm saying? He stick to the basics and he make you buy in. And, you know, he, he's just so good, especially with technique and and his terminology that we use. That, like, he, he's excellent at it. I know you're not satisfied yet, but the way you're playing now, the way the pass rush is working out right now, is this kind of what you had in mind when you came here? I mean, it was you could have gone anywhere in the country and you chose to come here. Is, is this sort of what you were thinking when you decided to come to Florida State? Yeah, uh, I told Gio that like you know, this this D line is just great. You know, I would play with these guys over any other you know D line in the country. And um, the way we develop, uh, you know, the hard work we put in all season is not paying off. Well, and I'm sure, just kind of piggyback on that, you know, so much in the preseason was guys like us asking you guys over and over about the pass rush and whether or not it was going to be better. And I, and I know that That's was annoying. That's one question I kept, <laughs> One question I kept going. I kept and, getting. And I know it was a pain, but at the same time, like, it is better. And, I mean, is that satisfying for you guys to know that you had something and you put in the work and, and now these are the results? Yeah, it's satisfying, but there's a lot of more room for yeah. improvement. Like, you know, we got to get there faster. <laughs>